Uh, kia ora, Kelvin. Nice to talk to you. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, kia ora, John. It's a bit hard to hear you, but uh, yeah, keep going. Well, 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 it's hard to hear me because Labour are having a pretty good night. And the Labour MPs in the Māori seats are having a fantastic night. What do you put that down to? What's happening in the Māori seats and why? Look, I, I think it's just our message is resounding amongst māori -dom. You know, we're the party that we've been talking about the uh, housing crisis and wanting to fix homelessness, about uh, health, education, uh, cleaning up the rivers. And uh, I think Māori... Uh, uh, saying, OK, Labour, we want to give you a chance to be able to uh, work on those things and fix them up for us. Kelvin, I've got Mihi Narangi Forbes here and Jane Patterson here. I know Mihi would like to ask you a question. Yes, uh, when you Kia came off... Kia ora, Ewha. When you came off the list, all those Māori MPs, uh, you got a bit of stick for that at the time and you told me that you were going to bring in uh, 12 to 14 Māori. I'm not sure if you're looking on track for that, but you must be pretty pleased with the performance in the Māori seats. Yeah, absolutely. We backed ourselves as uh, Māori MPs um, and uh, it looks like it's going to pay off and I think uh, my predict prediction is going to come uh, true, uh, Mahia. I think definitely 12 and hopefully more Māori MPs and look, this is going to be history in the making. Uh, no party in the history of the New Zealand Parliament has ever had that many Māori MPs. So, you know, it's great for all of New Zealand. And also the party vote in those Māori seats, I know that it's only at 50 to 60% counted now, but the party vote has grown too. Um, Māori voters are voting, voted about 42% in the Māori seats in 2014. It's looking at around 50 to 60%. Oh, well, yeah, that's um, really fantastic. And so we just have to acknowledge all our whānau who have got out and given uh, Labour the two ticks. Um, I I'm not quite sure where the percentages are in our personal vote compared to the party vote, and hopefully they're, you know, they're up there as well. But I think it's also because we we've got strong Māori candidates, uh, strong Māori MPs, and we're looking forward to going out there and earning the, the trust and respect and doing the business for our people over the next three years. Kelvin Davis, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations on being returned uh, pretty comprehensively as the MP for Te Tai uh, unless something quite bizarre happens.